What's up, guys? Welcome to our vlog. For today's video, we will be discussing about the drum roll. Volcano! Yes, yes, you heard it right. We will be discussing about the volcano. And to make our video more exciting and interesting, we will create our own volcano that will help us in determining its parts. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! So, after a few minutes of discussion, we came up with an idea to use recycled materials in creating our volcano. So, we can reduce wastes and utilize items that should be disposed. We have used old newspapers, magazines, and used papers from school, empty bottle, and used illustration board for the base. And for the magma, we need a baking soda. Vinegar is washing liquid, warm water, and food color. So guys, we have also used this brown poster to paint our volcano in order for it to look more realistic than how it actually looks. Anyways, let's go back to the video. And since we now have all our materials, let's get started. First, let's put the empty bottle in the center of the illustration board because it will serve as the pipe or the conduit where the magma will travel. We will hold it together using tape so it will stay in its place. And after that, we will use our newspapers and magazines to shape our volcano by taping one end to the bottle and the other end to the illustration board. Apply as many layers as you want until you achieve the shape that you desire but remember that the layers should be dry before putting another layer. Now that the newspaper and our glue are completely dry, it's time to paint our volcano. Let's put some details. Color and design are okay. We will be using brown paint since most of the volcanoes are color brown, but you can also use gray if you don't have a brown poster. To summarize these procedures upon creating the volcano, here's how. First, put the bottle in the center of the illustration board. Second, hold it together using tape. Third, add crumpled newspapers around the bottle and form a volcano shape. Fourth, cover it up with flat papers and lastly, paint. And finally, we're done creating our volcano so it's time now to identify its parts. The empty bottle will serve as the magma chamber and conduit at the same time. This is where the magma will reside temporarily on its way to the upper mantle and to the Earth's crust. The magma will flow through the ground passage called the conduit. The lid of the bottle will be the mouth of the volcano, also known as the crater. The lower part of this lid will be called drought that gives off lava and volcanic ash. The result of the chemical reaction between the baking soda and vinegar will produce an explosion that will serve as a volcanic eruption. The magma that erupts from the volcano will solidify as it cools and will be called lava. The vinegar will serve as the molten rocks beneath the earth's surface or commonly known as magma, while the lava is the mixture of the vinegar and the baking soda. Now that we have identified all the visible parts of the volcano and its definition, we will now proceed in our last and most exciting part, Ramon. The Volcanic Eruption We will also guide you on how to make your volcano erupt. This activity needs to be done outside of your house or in a wide area because it will create a really, really big mess. And of course, we don't want this big mess to create a damage on everything around us. Pour a little bit of warm water into the crater of the volcano. Add 3 to 4 drops of this washing liquid. Add the baking soda and swirl it. In a separate container, Put the vinegar and add a few drops of food coloring to make it look like a lava. Pour the vinegar into the volcano crater, step back and watch how the volcano erupts. So as you all can see, our volcano has a cone shape and volcanoes with this kind of shapes are called cinder cone. They are the most common and simplest types of volcanoes. 
They are built from particles and blobs of congealed lava ejected from a single vent. And that's how you create your own volcano and make it around. You guys can also do it at home. But make sure to do it with your parents or elder siblings to avoid unresolved. And that's it! Hope you guys enjoy our video for today and learn something from us as well. This is Carl Ivan Abonin. Gina Grace Rodion. And John Robin Manzano of 7-11-8. See you in the next vlog! Bye! Bye.